Let's talk about Kirchhoff's voltage law, KVL. Um, so if we have any circuit, let's just say we have a circuit that has multiple resistors like this. And <clears throat> if this is R1, R2, R3, let's say there's a voltage drop, V1, V2, and V3 for all these resistors. And I'm just going to name our source voltage V sub S. So KVL tells us that if we start in one place in the circuit, can be anywhere, and we walk around any loop in a circuit, the sum of voltages around that loop will be zero. So um, as long as we follow the passive sign convention, um, and we start any place here, if we add up all the voltages, we should get zero. So I'll say, as long as we follow the passive sign convention, which is that if we go into the positive side, then that is going to be a positive voltage. And if we go into a negative side of a circuit element, that's going to be a negative voltage. Then the sum of voltages around any loop in the circuit will be zero. Okay, so that's what KVL tells us. So for our example here, if I start at this bottom left-hand corner, and if I kind of walk around the circuit as if I was a current loop, the first circuit element I'm going to encounter is this VS. Now since I'm coming in to um, VS from the negative side, I follow the passive sign convention, so this is going to be a negative Vs in my list of voltages. Now I pass through Vs, I'm going to now encounter this V1 voltage drop. I'm entering through the positive side, so this is going to be a positive V1. Um, I continue on to the second resistor. The voltage drop across the second resistor is V2, so this will be plus V2. And then I continue on down here, and now I'm going to encounter the voltage drop across the third resistor, so that'll be a plus V3 by the passive sign convention. And then I come back over to where I started. So KVL says that if I add all these voltages together, the sum will be zero. And this is true in um, any circuit. And there could be multiple loops in the circuit, and KVL, KVL will always hold. So let me show you a second example. Suppose we have a circuit that has two branches. And we can, again, name this VS. We'll call this R1. We'll call this R2. And let's make it interesting. Maybe I'll put another resistor up here. We'll call this R3. Okay, so I'm going to start any point in the circuit. I can start here. And there's going to be a loop here. There's going to be a loop here. And there's going to be an outer loop here. So I'll name these loops. I'll call this loop A. I'll call this loop B. And I'll call my outer loop loop C. Okay, so by KVL, we know that at loop A, if we start here, assuming these voltage drops, I should probably label these, plus minus V1, plus minus V2. Um, if I have the signs indicated on my voltage drops, then I'll be able to use the passive sign convention to make sure that I'm, I'm correctly adding or subtracting the voltages as I go around the loop. So for the A loop, that's just going to be this one here. Starting at 
this bottom corner. I'm going to enter Vs through the negative side. I'm going to enter V3 through the positive side. I'm going to come around. I'm going to encounter V1 from the positive side, and that's going to be zero. Then at loop B, if I start here, I'm going to enter V1 and the negative side, so this will be negative V1. And I'm going to enter V2, encounter V2 at the positive side. So that's equal to zero. And then at loop three, my outer loop, I'm going to encounter Vs. I'm going to enter it through the negative side, and then I'm going to encounter a positive V3, and then I'm going to encounter a positive V2, and that's equal to zero. Okay. So this is using KVL and all the loops in this particular circuit. Um, we add up all the voltages, they sum to zero, but the key thing is you have to make sure to follow the passive sign convention.